Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited about this update because it's one that I've wanted to do for a long, long time, and it is our new color options that we have in the store app, and uh, font color options as well. So I know that a lot of you are artists, and so the ability to add color uh, makes me, like, nerdily way overexcited. Maybe than I should be. I feel very much like a little kid. I'm like, yes, color! I love color! Um, and, and I do. I do. And it just makes me so happy to be able to add these Style. little things, you know? Just making it more my own. So in this one, here we're going to go into Edit Layout, so you can see how to do this now. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna do a new section in the videos. Uh, I like riddles, I think they're a lot of fun and they're a way for us to increase the engagement on the video, which then helps us rank higher and helps Tablet Pro do better and then uh, helps us develop the tool further. The riddle is, what do you keep when you don't need it, but you throw it out when you do? So here you can see the colors reflected here now here you'll see the text color is selected and inputted with a hex color number and same thing here uh, hex color if you guys are inputting um, both button color and text color do the text color first and then the background color if you do it in the reverse order it'll delete the background color when you input the text all right so this is pretty simple you just input text um, you can do a quick search for hex color pickers um, I have one online that I like a lot, and let's see, it's in this area. So I like this one, it's w3schools.com, this is w3schools.com slash colors slash colors underscore picker dot ASP. So you can tap any color here, and then you get this full range of all the different shades of blue, lighter and darker, uh, as well as here just more information so you can go through just kind of your basic palette as well and adjusting saturation lightness but this makes it easy for you to pick a color that uh, is going to really complement and is a good quality color now on my preset over here so you just copy that and paste that into here I don't like to do a massive amount of colors and I like to do a lot of different uh, real subtle hue variations and uh, saturation variations. I've never said that combination of words before. I was very proud of myself. <laughs> and I think that that looks better like that when you have just um, not a ton of colors, but I, who cares what I think? You guys are gonna do whatever makes you happy. Um, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of really cool, um, beautiful presets being made and uh, hopefully shared. So we're working on something on our website that I will share with you here. So in order to make the preset, uh, you're going to go here to Presets, Add Preset, give it a title. Uh, I think it's important to add a description, kind of what the colors are in the title, just so that if there's 50 Affinity Designer ones, that there's a standout um, naming mechanism. <laughs> So, uh, and then the description, kind of on what the buttons, which buttons you have mapped. I think this is important for searchability. And I put in here, rate it five stars if you find it useful, just because I want that to be something that you guys remember to do for people. Uh, we're going to comment and rate uh, the more effective, useful presets so that if we have uh, a couple thousand presets for Photoshop, that we have a, a way of saying, okay, these three or these five are the, are the most useful ones. Uh, and then you can put a YouTube link if you have a video that's describing how this preset works. Uh, image file, we're going to choose an image file. There we go, Affinity Blue Whale. And attachments, uh, we're going to go to correct folder, Affinity Designer, INA. We're not going to use the tablet profile, uh, even though I think you can use both just fine. We're going to right click here and we're going to send to compressed zip file. Same name is fine, and that's good. We're gonna click open. That's going to upload this here, hit submit, and this will get sent to me, and I will try to approve these within 
about a day. And if you want to find that later, you just go to community presets or my presets, and that's going to show you just yours. Uh, you guys do need to be logged in in an order to add a preset or download a preset. Uh, you can still view them without being logged in to the website. All right, so I've added this, so we're going to go here, and we're going to go to community presets, and we're going to see here it is right here, and here's the download link. Click on that, and it's going to let you download the zip file and open. It's pretty self-explanatory, and then here's the file. I'm really excited about this. A quick note is up here, the URL is going to be based off the name right here. So that you can see up here, affinity-designer-blue-whale, and that auto-populates on its own, which is really nice because you can make a simple, easy-to-find title. And this URL, is, again, is very user-friendly. I know there's a couple other little things in in here. So let's let's go right here and let's change this to this icon and save it. And this is automatically reflecting the change that we made. Uh, this feature is called automatic reflection. <laughs> so uh, I think this is really nice. Uh, actually, this is uh, something I've been requesting from Takashi for a while, and I was really glad he added it. Totally different way than I anticipated. Sometimes, for one reason or another, it, it won't do that. And if it doesn't, then click here and just choose Artist Pad, and that'll bring that back up to where it uh, shows the update. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you for being such a wonderful community to serve. Uh, I'm really proud of this update and the work that we've been doing. So um, feel free to comment if you're happy about the addition of colors. And please share this video with other users and other people so that they can see the uh, new things that they can do now. The answer is an anchor. Yeah! All right, until next time, stay creative.